Hello everybody, I'm Steve and welcome to Greenside Up. It's time for me to get some harvest in. So let's start here with the beetroot today. I've already picked a few things. We'll have a look at them in a minute, but let's just go in, see what we've got. These are beetroots. We've got golden and your normal purple ones. Good crops this year. Yeah, very satisfied with these. These are lovely. These were multi sounding modules. Right, it's starting to rain. I'm going to get these inside and clean them up a bit. So I'm going to have a look at these turnips now. Pick a few of these, I think. See what they like. Yeah. That doesn't look very good. Hope there's better than that in there. That's a bit better. Now we're talking. That's much better. That's the size I want, really. Yeah, champion. Oh my god. I wasn't expecting that. There we go, I think that will do. For now, again, we'll go in there, go and wash these off and uh, tidy them up to take home. Actually, whilst the compost heap is just behind me here, I'll trim these up here. <laughs> it makes perfect sense if I just chuck them straight in. It's just an initial trim, so. They smell lovely. That's a proper one and undamaged as well. Real. Now we're going to give them a wash off and put them in the uh, in the little truck to take it home. So you can see uh, I've already picked some rhubarb this morning and uh, pulled a little bit of elephant garlic which was in the way of something else I was planting or doing. So, Just picking some veg for the week, really. Really pleased with these turnips, how they've come out. This one, especially, is really, really, really looks nice. So, leave as much muck down here as I, as I can before taking this stuff home.
Yeah, so there we go, it's a nice little chug there. We've got a few other bits to pick yet, to, to be honest, as well. We'll go and crack on with that in a second. We're all ready, that's uh, a lovely basket of uh, produce to take home. Really pleased with that. It's nice. Oh gosh, it looks colourful as well, doesn't it? Right. Let's go and add to it. So I have some lovely summer cabbages coming here, and this one in particular is needs picking to be honest so I'll just cut that off at the base I mean look at that lovely cabbage I'll just take some of these outside leaves off and that's another one for, for teas this this week lovely there we go so there's a lovely cabbage very pleased with that. And the cucumbers producing now as well. So we'll take this one. Lovely. I think this uh, variety is Beth Alpha. That's as big as they get. They don't grow any bigger than that. But that's perfect for for, for us too. So yeah, brilliant. I must sort out those spare tomatoes as well this next day or two. I've got a plan for those. They're the ones that I grew from side shoots off the Crimson Crush there. So there's about another half dozen, maybe eight over there. There's a spare fennel growing here. That's still growing, gosh. Right, I'm going to put this on the truck. And um, we'll have a few flowers for the vase as well, I think. These are uh, Sweet Williams. Some of these are actually going over. Crikey. I've only had a couple of pickings off this. There we go, that should make a nice display. But what I will add into it is some of this honesty. With these seed pods. Be a nice uh, addition to go in there. I'm gonna harvest the rest of this this next week and start to dry it out. But I'll take a couple of these in, in the green, so to speak. Just a guy with those uh, sweet William flowers. So, just a couple of sprigs. So there we go. Nice bucket of loveliness. How wonderful is that? A bit more white, I think. There we go. That should do it. Hopefully you can see that. While we're out here harvesting, I just thought I'd give you a quick update on these carrots outside. You can see now they're all through and they're getting away great guns. So in this next week, I'll start thinning them down a bit. Um, I'd rather do it now than when the foliage is much bigger and um, because then if you bruise or move the foliage you can attract the carrot fly so we'll start getting them thinned out within this next week 10 days and over here where are we where i showed the peas the oregon sugar pod that's the blank area and that's where i sowed them you can see they're coming up and we'll go in the tunnel and have a look at the ones in the gutter selling exactly the same time. 
So these are the Oregon Sugar Pod sewn in the gutter at exactly the same time as the ones outside and as you can see they're just starting to break surface so they're probably a day or two behind those sewn outside. So here we have today's plot donation from the plot to Anne and I for us to eat over this next week. Oh look, you see the tadpoles in the pond as well. The pond is really coming to life. I've been absolutely thrilled this week to watch birds come down and drink. They hop down on that log over there, which is there so mammals can get out. And they hop down, have a drink and come away. And I've got some, um, got some stuff I'll be doing with this pond over this next week. But anyway, for now, that's our lovely food we'll be eating for this next well, most of this next week. This is brilliant, so I'm really, really pleased with this. Now, over here in the little tunnel, uh, very early in the season, I had a lot of salad stuffs growing in there. So lettuces, radishes, peas for pea shoots, all, all them sorts of, sort of things. And down this side, I had all my temporary benches down and all my seedlings and young plants are on there. They're all gone now. They're all out and around the plot or elsewhere uh, where I'm going to be using them next. So I've been clearing out in there. I'm going to give you a sneak peek, but this will be the next video that comes up is I'll be sorting this little tunnel out in here. So I'll just grab you, excuse me. There we go. So this is all sorted now and ready and this will be planted and other things done to it on the next video. There you go, a sneak peek, aren't I good? So there we go, there's another video done and in the bag. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And if you didn't like it, please do hit the dislike button. Then I know that the content I'm putting out is either being enjoyed or it's not. It gives me a good indication. So whichever way you feel, click one of them buttons if you can, I would appreciate it. Thanks very much for watching. I say the next one will all be in that small uh, tunnel out there. And I'm looking forward to doing that because it hasn't got a plant planted in it. It's brilliant. So it's a blank canvas and uh, I can really go to town on it. So I look forward to doing that. Anyway, look after yourselves. Please stay safe. I'll see you all very, very soon. Ta-ra now. <laughs>